What's up everyone, in this week's video I found myself yet again driving aimlessly throughout the state of Washington looking for photographs. About three and a half hours into my drive, I end up on the North Cascade Highway, a little place called Diablo Lake, which was an absolutely beautiful location to photograph. And I also stopped off at a bunch of spots along the way to photograph some beautiful scenery. It was a really fun day of just driving all over the place and taking photos. I was in the car for like eight or nine hours, but totally worth it. Got some really great images. Excited to share them with you guys. I started off the day by loading some Portrait 400 into my Pentax 6x7. Hope you guys enjoy. Boom! Nailed it, baby! Let's go! Fuck, I'm good. One of the things that I find myself doing more often than I'd like to is when I have a de destination in mind, I often won't stop off on the side of the road to photograph things like this for whatever reason. I just always want to like get to where I'm going. That results in missing out on a lot of the stuff along the way. On this trip out to Diablo Lake, I'm definitely looking to stop at anything that catches my eye to photograph it. Definitely glad I decided to stop off and photograph this barn. The thin cloud layer was creating a kind of diffused light, which kept the shadows soft, but the colors very vibrant. And maybe my favorite aspect to these photos is that thin mountain peak that's peeking up above the tree line and the red barn kind of on the left third side of the photo. I'm actually gonna grab a picture with my iPhone, a little bit different composition down here. Yep, gonna have to shoot that on the Pentax. One's gonna be with the foreground in focus, and then this one's gonna be with the barn in focus. This entire drive is insane. I thought the Olympics were wild, but the North Cascades are proving to be a worthy competitor. I'm gonna load up some Fuji Industrial 100 into the Canon, just cause there's a lot of things to shoot. So I'm gonna switch it out between uh, the Pentax and the Canon. This photo is another one of my favorites from the entire day. I actually like the 35mm version more than the medium format version, and that's largely due to the fact that I shot the 35mm version in landscape orientation and the medium format version in portrait orientation, but Fuji Color Industrial 100, which I'll talk about later, I really enjoyed the results that I got from this film stock. Those Fuji greens really play to my favor in this photo. On the left third side of the image, that deep green you get in that swimming pool there is absolutely beautiful and it draws your eyes right to that part of the photo. But everywhere else you look, there's also beautiful highlights and shadows and the balance between the two is really nice. Um, lots of beautiful colors, it's kind of got a warmer feel to it. And yeah, I think it just composes really nicely.
I really want to jump off this bridge. So I definitely lucked out having these two kayakers enter into the left side of my frame on this photo, and I actually went ahead and removed them from this version of the image, and you can see how much of a difference they make by being in the frame. They add balance and perspective to the photo and kind of create this sense of wonderment and excitement to an otherwise pretty average landscape. Well, I'm definitely gonna try to jump this bridge, but I'm all about not making the same mistake twice. So I'm gonna go depth check it first. That water is cold, but it's deep enough. We're good. Time to send it. Oh, I got to jump in and I iced my knee at the same time. Scope this mic setup. I got it clipped to my hair. <laughs> I'm a god. This is innovation at its absolute finest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I can't see what I'm actually composing, but that's nothing new as everyone knows. hyped on this stop. Got some sweet pictures, I think. I even saw some influencers out in the wild getting some selfies. It was fucking epic. So yeah, the vibes are high. I'm gonna continue on driving this road. Hopefully get some cool, some more cool vantage points of the lake. Now there's multiple things I like about this photo. Of course the mountain looks amazing, but the two aspects I enjoy the most are the fact that one, it seems a bit timeless. It seems like it could have been taken anywhere from 1970 to the present day. There's something about being in the mountains that offers me at least a certain sense of nostalgia and I think that's largely due to the fact that we haven't changed the mountains a lot. Uh, we haven't developed out there. Everything has kind of stayed the same. So it's easy to believe that this photo might have been taken, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And the other aspect that I love about this image is the fact that these two gentlemen are shading their eyes from the sun with their hands. I think that adds a really cool feeling to the photo. Put another roll of Portrait 400 in just because it's still pretty bright out. Um, but I'm probably gonna cruise through this next roll of Portrait 400 and then go to Portrait 800. Still got the Fuji film in the Canon, but I'm at this lookout right now. Big parking lot with incredible views. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am cruising out of Diablo Lake in a race against time to get to a place called Deception Pass, which is about two hours away, I believe. I wanna get there before sunset. It's like seven something right now. So it's gonna be a bit of a tight one, but I think I should be able to pull it off. Um, if not, get there a little bit after sunset. Should still be able to get some cool pictures, hopefully. But uh, yeah, um, time to go rally mode. Literally pulling off two seconds after I said I need to hurry up to get to Deception Pass, but I gotta take a picture of this bend in the road right now. Definitely learning to be more liberal with 
how much film I'm shooting. I never want money to get in the way of getting the photo I want to get. So taking multiple pictures of the same subject a lot more than I usually would, but that's the way it's going to go from here on out. I can't stop stopping at these locations. God dang it. Classic sketchy one. Shots left on this roll. So I really want to frame up a good couple compositions here. I wish I had a wider lens again. I just need to buck up and get one. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that I'm not going to make it out to Deception Pass in time for sunset. The light is beautiful right now. So I am going to stop at as many places as I can on the side of the road to take advantage of this light. It's gonna load up Portrait 800 as we are getting into the later hours of the evening. And the colors on Portrait 800 during golden hour, in my opinion, are unrivaled. So looking forward to these photos. Okay, I've made it out to Deception Pass. Didn't catch sunset, but the light right now is still beautiful. So I'm gonna try to grab some long exposures here on Portrait 800. Very sketchy, because this is like a, I don't know how high, the 200 something foot bridge, I think. I'm kinda holding my camera over the railing right now, so pretty high consequence if I drop anything. I got a meter, and uh, but yeah, I got, got my composition framed up. I think it's looking pretty solid. Mirror lock up on purpose this time, on purpose. Before we wrap this video up, I do want to leave some final thoughts on Fuji Industrial 100 because it was the first time I had shot this film stock. Overall, I was really impressed. Um, I haven't shot a ton of Fuji to begin with, but out of all the Fuji film stocks that I have shot, this was far and above my favorite one. The colors were beautiful, rich, vibrant, and the 100 speed. Uh, you don't have a ton of grain, so I think they would make for some really good prints. I do want to get a couple prints done of some of the images that I shot uh, on Fuji Industrial 100. Um, so once I get those done, I will let you guys know how they turn out. But yeah, overall, really impressed. Uh, it's definitely a good substitute for something like Color Plus 200, and I would highly recommend uh trying it out if you can find it all right guys that's gonna wrap up this video i gotta say thank you again for all of the support it just keeps getting better and better each and every week and i'm super appreciative of it i do have some fun stuff coming up uh, some giveaway and community oriented stuff that i will keep you guys posted on just my way of saying thank you for watching the videos and commenting and all that jazz so uh really appreciate it hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there catch you guys next week peace